I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, everybody, welcome back, guys, to the YouTube channel. We are back playing Project Ozone 3 once again. Uh, in today's episode, what I want to do is get started on some Botania. I already completed the Mystical Fertilizer because in the last episode, uh, we went and completed a bunch of the bosses in the Twilight Forest. So we are able to start on Botania. Yes, I want to do that so I can get more seeds, higher tier seeds, and all that fun stuff. Yes, I think that'll be pretty fun. Um, also, in between episodes, I found a area for a new base that I want to get set up. It's a pretty cool base that I have in mind. It's like a factory with a bunch of power lines and some water wheels by the water. It'll be very cool. So, I am slowly gathering materials to get that set up. Um, advancing in some quest lines so I can be able to do all that stuff as well because I think we need to get more power before I do anything um, oh yes okay so with that being said let's jump right into the quests that I wanted to get started here so I completed mystical fertilizer like I said we have to get pure flowers now uh, which we need a petal I don't know how to say that last word and pure daisy. So with that, we need stone, the verdant crystal, and a mystical flower cluster, which I did complete already. It was a kind of kind of grindy, but I just did that in the off episode. So I got those. Um, one, two, three, four. I need to make another one of these. That is loud. I don't like that. Okay. Uh, let me get some stone, dude. Stop. Okay. I might get a sound muffler to mute that. There we go. That should be better. Now I don't have to hear it. Yes. Okay. Back to where I was. We got, um, maybe make a personal crafting table over here. I think that'll be nice to have. I got a crafting table on a stick. I like to just craft right there. Okay. So now we need a pedestal. I'm just gonna call it a pedestal. How about that? Uh, where is that? Botania. Botania. Okay. We need it right there. Oh, okay. Then we need a pure daisy, which is petals, and here, and to do that, we put this down. Um, I have a couple buckets here. I'm going to make an infinite water source, even though I have infinite water right here. I don't want to keep going out here every time. Uh, get quite, that'll get kind of boring. So let me go make yeah. infinite. There. So what I want to do is grab some water, throw that on there. Uh, where's my white flowers? We have three. Uh, that's not going to be enough. Okay, let me get some floral here. And this is how I get those flowers, those those uh, mystical flowers. Just take the fertilizer and grow them around until you get them. Until you get the ones you need, anyway. There we go. There's one. Okay. Uh... Then, over here, I grab these. Oh, actually, this is what you do. You can use white petals, I think, and grow these on the ground. Yes, just like that. And then get some bone meal and a shear. You can grow these. Where are they? Right there. Boom, boom. And use shears to cut them. Then you just do it all over again. So now I got eight. Get out of here. Okay. And just like that, we have more flowers. Petals. Sorry. Okay, now we go over here. We drop one, oops, two, three, four. And to finish it off, you have to drop a seed in it. Every time you do this. Just like that. 
No, pure daisy. Now we need to get, I, I say we should get two of them and you'll see why in a second. I'll grab two. Let me put some of these flowers away. Here. Um, put some of those away. That away. And put that away. Okay. Put that down. One, two, three, four. And a seed. Yes, and you'll see why here. So what these do is you place them down and they turn wood and stone into living wood and living stone. Yes, which we will need for the quests. So that's good to have. I, I like to do two of them. Just so it does one of each. Put the porch down here. Okay, and that takes a little bit time. I'm not too sure how much to be exact, but that does that. So there we go. Now we get living wood and living rock, which is what I am doing right over there. Now, so this, see, like I said, you need different petals and then we need different runes, which we will get down in here. So let's go ahead and watch these turn into living wood and living rock. Okay, see, there goes the stone to living stone, and then we got wood to living wood. Yes, and you can make this all automated if you really want to by uh, doing block placers. And I'm pretty sure you can do away by uh, block breakers as well. So we'll go ahead and place some more down. Let that just keep going because we might need some in the future. I'm not too sure. But we go over here. Um, let me see here. We need... What is the thing that we're going to need here? Um, what I want to build is one of, not, not one of those. Where's it at here? Um, you control mana with it. Um, the stick right there. Living wood twig. Sorry, we need just two living wood and you get a twig. And with that, you control. Um, and you can use different colors. Um, we're going to need actually a couple of these. And then we do this, this, that, and I think this and that. And see, we use a wand of the forest. And what that'll do is we make a mana spreader. You can control where the mana goes. He says in the bottom function mode, bind mode. Yes, so we will be using this in the future. So where do we continue from here? Let's see here. We got living wood and living rock. So we need a mana pool, which is living rock, a apothecary cauldron which will need some uh, um cattle some of these things you get from mobs and a cauldron yes so let me go ahead and get these to make that and to make this you do oh we do need an arcane forge okay so let me go ahead and make an arcane forge real quick okay so i got iron furnace the man infused ingot and a bucket of lava just like that Okay, and we need to grab these simple crystals. There's four, I think. Let me look. Okay, and then to do that, we need the void interface, I do believe. Let me go ahead and grab one of those. Four. And let me go get the night ingots real quick from the house. Oh, sorry, night metal ingots. And what you do to get these is you just go to the Twilight Forest and you kill a bunch of mobs in one of the strongholds um, underground. Uh, you have to defeat one of the bosses from. They drop a bunch of these uh, night metal shards and then you combine them and then you melt them down and you get those. Yes. A lot of stuff I did off camera. Anyway, I think you put this down here. Think. And then to power it up, let me look real quick. You just put um, light earth and oh, okay. So what I think we need to do earth and light. Um, where is that? Is 
Is that what we need? Let me check real quick. Aha, that is what it's talking about. An earth a siphon. So, go ahead and make one of those. And then I think it says we need... Oh, wait. They're not going to... The earth and water, I'm pretty sure. Water siphon. We need a damp crystal, which I got to do with water. Oh, so I need to research water. So I'm going to go into my book of knowledge, uh, and then I'm going to do some researching on the water real quick. So I need four embedded inscription tiles. So let me go ahead and go grab my inscription tiles, and we'll do some research to get to water. Okay, I got some tiles here. So we need an A. There's already research A. All I can do is click on the keyboard A, and it completely does it. See, look at this. It goes up and down. So that's pretty neat. So I can do Q. Oh, I didn't research Q. So this is how we do it. Up and down. Oops. Up and down. And then we need two on the side. So one and two. And then we need one, two, three, four. I think one, two, three, and four. Is that correct? Q. We did. See that? Now we can do U. Click on U. Pause it. Click on A. And just like that, we did some research on the water. Now, to do the water, I need a damp crystal. I need a water bucket and some simple crystals. So let me go ahead. Get one of these. And where's my simple crystals at? One, two, three, four, five, I do believe is what it is. Or no, four. Anyway, either way. So, make some damp crystals. Get that quest completed, get a water siphon, and there we go. Yes. Now, I think if we place these, I think. Put these in there. Okay. And then put some simple crystals. Or put some. Okay. So I put one in there. Not too sure what I need to do here. I'll have to look this up. But I can put one of every one in there. Mana to craft. Right click to cycle. No water mana. Oh, there we go. Thoughts on a craft. The complex crystal. Yes, so let me go ahead and make a couple of those. And we'll get enough to complete that quest. So we need three more. Actually, yeah, we need three more. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, just like that. So let me go ahead and get a cauldron made and the rest of these made. Because I can, oh, I can get most of these from our mob farm. Yes, yeah, so let me go do that real quick. Let me get uh, enough for a cauldron and go get these real quick. Okay, let me see here. I need more molten core and rib bone. Okay. Uh, rib bone right there. Okay. And then we need, oh, not that one. Molten core, nebulous, and catalyst grind. Actually, I think I can just make it right now. Okay. I don't know how much to make, but I think that might be enough. Okay. Let me go back over to my station over there. I set it up where the cow farm used to be and next to the Twilight Forest portal. I don't need any more cows, so I thought about getting rid of it. But once we get our base set up, everything will be all nice and tidy. I am so excited, but I need to gather more materials and complete some more quests to do so. Yes, so let me go back in here and make the cauldron. And then we get my living wood. I think six it needs five but i'll do six okay now we got a mana pool okay let me just put these in there i'm not sure if we need them down the road but we need that okay yes all right now let me go ahead and make a mana spreader so we need living wood petal and the variant crystal that's easy so i got the crystal i need petals oh, where's my white petals at uh, right there 
and living wood. Yes, so I think that's why I went back over here and got it going again. Because we do need this. Hey, easy there, turbo. Okay. Go back over here. Make a mana spreader. Ooh, pulse mana spreader. But we'll do a mana spreader because that's what the quest says. Okay. Complete? I think so. Now we can get mana diamond, mana pearl, and mana steel, which is what we will need. Oh. To continue. Uh, I need an elven's gate, an elven, elven's portal set up too. Yes, but let me go ahead and um, figure out what we need to do to continue from here. Okay, so now, now what we got to do is we got to get started making some mana for this bad boy. So, we'll get some water. We gotta make these uh, uh, see, uh, flowers. I'll show you in just a second. So, we throw them down. We're gonna need, I think it's two of these, uh, two of those, and one of those. I think I'm doing this correct. And we'll see in a second. Did I do it right? I did not. Okay, let me get, let me get, uh, can I get these out of there? How do I get those out of there? All right, one second. Let me see. How did I? We need. What are those flowers called? Endo flames. Uh, endo flame. Endo flame. We need some of these. Two brown, one gray, and one red. Ew. I'll probably have to break it. Okay. Yep. Just do that. Two brown, one gray, one red, and that. What am I doing? Light gray. Oh, light gray. I am doing it all along. Okay, so let me go ahead. Where it is light gray flower? There it is. Turn these. Oops. Turn these into petals. And plant these. Oops, that's. And I'm all over the place. Thank you. Get rid of those. Throw these out. Don't need you. Okay, we need these petals. Those, and then shear those. Do it again. We get double the amount, or triple the amount, actually. Okay, and throw those. Break those down. And we get 28. Okay. Now, let me see if I can do this correctly. Trial and error. Bear with me. Okay, put some water in there. Uh, two brown, one gray, and one red. Yes, just like that. Boom. Now let me do it again. One light gray, two red, or one red, and two brown. Because I need a couple of these. Well, let me go ahead. A couple of these. What? what did I do this time? Oh, I need it brown. I did it wrong. Hey, where did you go? There you go. Okay, I think I think four should be enough for now to make enough mana. Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, that will be enough for now. Okay, so now what we gotta do, we might just sit up right here. Put the mana pool down. Get a mana spreader down. What we gotta do is use the one of the forest and shift click on that and bind it to the Why did you just turn at me? Hello? Oh, bind mode. Huh. There we go. Right? There we go. We have it on bind mode. And put that to that. Then, we're going to need endo flames down. Put them down right here. And then, what we got to do, drop a piece of coal in there. It'll, it'll consume it. 
and it'll put it so we do it find it that 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 to that and that to that that will make mana so as you can see there's a little bit in there already not much but enough so what i'm going to do is get a bunch of mana built up I think what we can do is we can make the mana diamond and the mana emerald. I think that's how we drop. We drop it in there. Don't count me on it, but I think that's how we do it. Yes, it's a very, very little amount of mana, but it does a job. Okay, I just remembered something from using Batania in a different mod pack. We can go ahead and grab black lotuses and blacker lotuses and drop it on the mana pool and it will turn into mana. So yes, this mom farm is going to come into handy, actually. We'll grab some black lotus. And we only have 29 blacker lotuses, but uh, black lotus should be fine. And if we go over there and we drop it on there, it'll turn into a mana. So that'll help us speed up the process of making some mana. Okay. Drop it on there. See, it's going in there and it's filling up the mana pool. Look at that, you guys. Now the mana pool is full. Right? Yes, look at that. It is full. Now, none of these guys have. Um, none of these guys have um, uh, mana in them, but now the mana pool is full. So, what we can do, we can make a mana pearl and a mana diamond. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm going to make a couple mana diamonds because I think I need them. For a bunch of quests in the future. So I'm just going to get a bunch of them out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get those real quick. Got to go over to my my base. My house. Uh, did a bunch of ore processing in the past. And got a bunch of diamonds. So that is good. Go to our mom farm and get ender pearls. That is good too. Yes. Setting myself up to success. Uh, I knew it would come in handy. So I'll grab a uh, pearl. And then grab a couple of diamonds. And we'll grab four. Why not? Yes. And if you drop them in the mana pool, it turns them into mana diamond and mana pearl. You can also do it with iron to make mana steel, but our mob farm produces a bunch of mana steel, so we don't need that. Waste of mana. Why would we do that? Do that. We'll make a couple of these. There we go. Completed a quest. Yes, so now. Oh, what's this called? Parasteel. So we need a spark. Oh, we can use ember shards. Okay. And we need lapis blocks. And okay, so now we need we need to go down this quest line first, is what it looks like to, to complete this. Because we need a bunch of the ruin of fires and a focal lens. So we'll go ahead and make that in the next episode. Yes, because so I want to eventually get into the Elven Gate to make some more um, seeds. We're going to need some, some of these higher tier seeds. We need uh, Batania, believe it or not. So yes, guys. Oh, well, do we need, can we make a Ruining Altar? We need living rock and the variant crystals and the mana pearl. Uh, let me go ahead. We have we have these still. Yes. Okay. Living rock. And we go ahead and get to living rock over here. And go ahead and make that. So I think it's like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, not that one. That there. And that there. Okay. Runic altar. Boom. Alchemical. Crystal. But it looks like I can make these. Yeah, so these are going to be a bunch of random items. Yes, I do remember this. So we're going to use the Loonstone Crafter. And that's right there. Okay. I think that's a good start into Batania for this episode. I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for all of the support. I'm going to move this real quick. Thank you guys for all of the support you've been giving me. Uh, hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. 
And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys. Take care. And goodbye.